by and by, Lord, by and by. Just plain, ordinary folks, the wife and me. Guess we never cared for a lot of fancy things and like the Joneses we never tried to be. Then we were young and healthy and sort of carefree, you know. We just took life for granted and figured later on we'd raise our family. Well, it came time we thought to have our first little baby. But then fate dealt us an awful blow, it seemed. The doctor said to me, I'm awfully sorry, son. And I knew by the expression he had, it wasn't likely that I'd ever be a dad. But I said, Doctor, surely this can't be why. I'm from a big family, old to seven. And to me, having little boys and girls around the home is sort of like a preview of heaven. But it was true, and we'd cry, and then we'd pray a bit. Finally, we just turned it over to God, because we believed that He'd take care of it. That He did, almost miraculously, the way that He happened. And it was through the help of some of our close friends. This lady called us one day and said, Would you take and raise two little old homeless boys? She said, you know, they're twins. I know God must have smiled as he watched us there. Because he takes great pleasure like this when he answers a prayer. Almost unbelievable, best I remember. All we could do was just look at one another. Now we have two little old boys, all of our own to love. They have their own real dad and mom. Boy, they were a lively pair, one over here and the other one over there. One climbing up on top of something, and the other one, well, he's hung up over there in his high chair. Well, time slipped away, and them boys, they've grown up a lot since then. Seems like just a long, long day. Reckon our job of raising them is just about to come to an end. But we've always tried to show them how to live God's way. And them boys, they sure meant a lot to our home. No way I can relate our many thrills and joys. One of the greatest thrills in my whole life came the other day. And God reached down to save them boys. Why, I've been worried, even cried over my failure. Trying to be a good dad talks to me he's about the most important person in the life of a growing up lad. I fretted when we didn't get to do some things together or maybe go somewhere. But God's fixed all that now and we'll get to make all that lost time up when we get up there. While we'll skin every hill in heaven and climb up every tree, them boys and me. I've even been thinking about a fishing trip. There on God's big glassy sea. Well, what I'm trying to say to you, Dad, is that if you've got some kids of your own, especially boys, why they'd rather be around you any time than playing with them old store-bought toys. As you walk down this road of life with them boys, they're walking right behind you. If you'll live for Jesus and honor God, chances are 